हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज हितेश अग्रवाल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल क्रिएट्स वाउ टेक अगेन इन टुडेज टॉपिक वी विल कवर अबाउट मजेंटो डिक्लेरेटिव डेटाबेस स्कीमा सो प्लीज वॉच माय दिस वीडियो टिल एंड बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू कवर सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स विच यू आर नॉट विच यू माइट नॉट बी अवेयर बिफोर प्रोसीड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन एज वेल सो यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अवर न्यू वीडियोज so friends uh, before magento 2.3 uh, we were using install schema and upgrade schema to create or update existing tables or fields uh, and install data and upgrade data uh, to add the values into the tables okay so whenever we were using the setup upgrade command so all the versions were uh, all the versions of the upgrade script was executing and it was also creating the complexity in the upgrade script file okay but with the declarative schema uh, it becomes very easy and fast using the xml files so developers don't have to create a, a, a new script for each version okay and also it offers to uh, delete uh, any field or table when the module is uninstalled okay so here you can see uh, i have created the uh, declarative schema so let me show you uh, here so first of all you need to create a uh, db underscore schema dot xml okay uh, before this uh, uh, let me tell you that if you are creating your own uh, custom module so first of all you need to create a custom module then only you have to create db schema dot xml in the etc db schema xml Uh, so friends if you don't know how to create a uh, custom module you can go to our previous uh, videos and watch it uh, or you can click on the icon uh, on the top right corner from the top right corner okay so here you can see db dot db underscore schema dot xml i have created in the etc folder okay and in, in that i have defined the table name okay uh, let me remove this i will show you later and resource engine what is the database engine and command and inside that you have to create your columns okay fields so and i have created two fields entity id and name entity id is my integer and here you can define the uh, where key and i have defined my uh, primary key as well okay so now i have i will run the setup upgrade command so this table will be created so let me run upgrade command so you can see here custom tables and inside that you will see uh, two fields has been created so friends uh, you see how uh, fast it is and uh, and how fast and easy it is okay so for for example now i have to i want to create a new field i want to add new fields here okay so in previous uh, before magento 2.3 you have to create another upgrade script uh, upgrade schema script and then you have to add your uh, fields there okay but with the db xml you just need to add here one more column field okay and uh, new field okay data type you can define according to your requirement that's it and i will run again so if i will refresh the this table so you can see there is new field okay so you can see in in a minute like in a seconds i have created a new field so, uh, and it was very fast okay so like this you can um, add or uh, add new fields accordingly so now i will suggest you to create a whitelist for the fields so uh here is the command you can uh, create a whitelist for your module okay so simply copy this 
php bin magento setup db declaration generate whitelist okay i will let you know what it helps you okay so first let's command run this command and my module name is mage academy underscore db example okay so it will create this dbx db schema uh, whitelist.json file and when i will open so you can see uh, friends whatever table you have created okay so it is creating your whitelist json file so here you can see your table name here you can see your fields name here you can see your constraint name okay so friends uh, the purpose to create this whitelist uh, is if you want to um, up, if you want to remove any fields or tables so uh, you cannot remove or revert uh, until and unless you will you don't have the whitelist json file okay so for example if i want to uh, remove this field okay so let me uh, make it here you have two options either you can make it disabled true or you can completely remove this uh, field okay so let me uh, show you into both ways so first of all i will make it disable true and i will run simply command so if i will refresh this table now so friends you can see here and now i have two fields only okay so if you want to remove any fields, you can easily just make it disable or you can remove it. So for example, let me show you that as well. Let me remove this. Let me comment. Okay. So let me refresh this table. So friends, now you can see only one field. I have uh, explained in both way how you can remove your field. So every time, whenever you are making any changes, uh, so please don't forget to run the uh, schema whitelist. So your schema will be updated. So friends, I have, uh, I have explained you how you can create your new tables or add or uh, update, add or remove uh, uh, remove fields from the existing tables okay uh, here you can see uh, the primary how you can define the primary key before that uh, here you can see the attributes which we which you can use in your uh, creating columns okay so first of all this is a, a column type uh, a data type so if you want to use integer or where care or text here you can define name of the field you can define length of the fields you can define you want to make your fields as an available uh, you want to uh, assign some default value uh, disabled so, so just i have explained you how you can use disabled okay if you want to remove any tables or fields so you can make it disabled true identity and on create on create uh, if you want to change your column name okay or and migrate uh, your old data from old column to the new column so you can use the on create and i will explain you how you can use it uh, then you can define the primary key uh, of your field here how you can define your foreign key and here you can see how you can drop your table okay you so ex as i explained you you have two options either you can remove this uh, complete xml file xml node or you can make it disabled so table name if you will make it disabled so let me show you how so let uh, if i will disable true okay and if i will run the command so if i will cl click on refresh so it will show you table magento 2 custom table doesn't exist means it has been deleted okay so, and then you can rename your table name so if you want to change your table name so you can just uh, use this script so here you can define new table name 
and uh, here you can define on create attribute where you will you can mention that my if you want to migrate your all data uh, from another table okay so you can mention the uh, table name okay, so let me show you how uh, so new let me uh, edit new and i will just copy this and okay, first let me create a new table custom table because i have deleted that and yeah to in run and now if i will see my table again comes okay so my table name is this let me add one entry okay now i want to change the uh, my table name so simply i will add new name and and uh, i will add this code Need this. So my custom table, and I will simply run this command. So if I will just click here, um. Custom table is not exist, so I need to go to second page, and here you can see new custom table, so new name of my table. So you can see the table and uh, its fields and data all are here. Okay. So friends, you can see how it is how easy it is in in previous. Uh, um, uh, previous fashion uh, you have to create a schema and then lots of scripts you have to write okay but here it's very easy then you can add the column the existing table uh, same as i have explained you so if you want to add um, any new fields in the existing table or any um, core core tables or extension tables you can create uh, you can add very easily using this okay if you want to remove, uh, I have explained you how you can remove, okay, and how you can migrate, okay. Also, friends, uh, if you want to uh, convert your old uh, install schema and upgrade schema script to the new DB schema XML, okay. So here is the command you can uh, use this command uh, to create this very easily, okay. Let me show you how you can. Uh, uh, do this so friends for example if you have already uh, installed schema or upgrade schema is created okay so for example i have already installed schema.php okay and i have created a custom table old okay. so here you can see custom table old uh, is, is is here okay now i want to change this custom table old into the uh, db schema dot xml okay so simply uh, what you have to do you have to run this command but before running this command you have to uh, remove the entry from setup module otherwise your script will not work okay so here it is so first let me let's see uh, what happens if i will not remove this entry and i will run the command okay now if i will see my this file no it is not created okay so as I said, you need to remove this DB XML or DB example is, uh, setup mod from the setup module. 
and now you can run this command now if you will see now you can see here uh, your schema db schema xml is created okay so with table name and field okay and primary key okay same uh, you need to apply this for uh, upgrade schema so for upgrade schema you need to run this command okay so your uh, uh, the fields will be added into the uh, db schema xml okay so friends, I hope you understand how you can create a, a new table or update existing tables using declarative database schema very fast and easy way. In next video, I will cover how you can create a, uh, how you can add uh, values into the tables using data patch file. Okay. I will wind up this video here. If you like my this video, please subscribe, like and comment. If you have any queries, please write in the comments. So we will try to solve your problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.